Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and whichever time you're watching this, welcome to SSC and welcome to SSC Presents Current Affairs Quiz Show, in which we shall be discussing 30 important MCQs in quiz format covering the current affairs of December 2nd week 2022. So let's proceed. Let's take a brief overview of this session. That's what we are going to have in this session. First of all, we shall have 30 important MCQs in quiz format, followed by four more questions, and then there are 17 bonus questions and important dates are there persons in news places in news countries in news and important news so there's a lot in this session so stay till the end so let's proceed uh, total of 30 mcqs are there and i request everyone to please participate in the quiz as at the end of each question you will be given a 10 seconds timer during which you can write the answers in the comment box or in the live chat box during the premiere so let's proceed first question who won the title of time magazines person of the year 2022 the options are there and your time begins now time magazines persons of the year for this year 2022 greta thunberg joe biden Vladimir zelensky or elon musk the time is over the correct answer to this question is Vladimir zelensky everybody knows that he is the president of ukraine okay and uh, time magazine has named ukrainian president Vladimir zelensky as the and the spirit of ukraine as 2022 person of the year okay so this is it time magazine persons of the year Vladimir zelensky next question what is the name of peru's first female president options are there and your time begins now peru recently got first female president what is the name the time is over the correct answer to this question is dina baluarte okay dina baluarte became the first female president of peru after her predecessor was detained by police and impeached by lawmakers so dina baluarte is the new president of Peru. Let's go to the next question. What is the theme of Human Rights Day 2022? Options are there and your time begins now. Dignity for all, freedom for all, justice for all or dignity, freedom and justice for all. The correct answer is D which is dignity, freedom and justice for all is the theme of International Human Rights Day 2022 which falls on every year 10th of december very very important date okay 10th december every year is observed as a uh, human rights day so this year also uh, human rights day was observed on 10th of uh, december 2022 and the theme was dignity freedom and justice for all so this was it let's go to the next question next question international climate club has been launched by which institution options are there and your time begins now international climate club g7 world bank g20 or south asian association for regional cooperation the correct answer to this question is g7 the group of seven economists everybody knows okay g7 countries uh, they have established an open worldwide climate club to encourage countries to work together to combat global warming uh, the decision was made by german chancellor olaf Scholz. as everybody knows that germany is one of the key member of g7 group and uh, germany is uh, the country which now holds the g7 leadership for 2022 until this year so who is the present uh, who holds the present leadership of g7 for this year it's germany okay and japan will take up the presidency from germany so for next year 2023 japan is taking up Next question, where does India stand in world's strongest passport list in 2022 published by Art in Capital? Options are there and your time begins now. 83rd position, 87th position, 89th position or 77th position. India's rank in world's strongest passport list 2022. The correct answer is 87 okay india has been ranked 87 in world's strongest passport list for 2022 and it has been published by art and capital so which is first one uae united arab emirates it has ranked first in the reading of passports that have been made in public recently so this is it uh, it is the ranking of world's strongest and weakest part passports okay so next question uh, this was about G7. Uh, G7, we just discussed uh, one question before. Okay, Group 7 
countries it's an intergovernmental political forum consisting of seven countries and which are those seven countries let us see uh, which are the countries in g7 they are canada france germany italy japan uk us i repeat canada france germany italy japan uk and us are there in g7 and uh, india is not part of g7 india is part of g20 okay so abbreviation g7 uh, it was when was it formed it was formed on 25th of march 1973 okay uh, this was it first g First summit of this group was held in 1975 and these are the uh, members of this uh, group G7 countries. Hope it's clear. So this is it. Next, uh, for PDF of all the sessions including this session it will cost you 400 rupees. What do you get in 400? You get past one year Sikkim current affairs, past six months national international current affairs, Sikkim current affairs 375 plus MCQs and uh, past year Sikkim GK solved 10 papers and all for the current affairs sessions important topics pdf for the next three months and for all this uh, you just need to pay rupees 400 for details send a message to this whatsapp number let's go to the next question where was the ninth world ayurveda congress and arogya expo 2022 inaugurated the options are there and your time begins now where was the ninth world ayurveda congress and arogya expo 2022 was inaugurated The correct answer to this question is Goa. It was inaugurated in Goa. Okay. Next, uh, more details on the screen. Let's go to the next question. Who has been officiated as the new chairman of Rajya Sabha? Very important. Who is the new chairman of Rajya Sabha? Options are there. Jagdeep Dhankar, Piyush Goyal, Virendra Kumar and Giriraj Singh. The correct answer to this question is Jagdeep Dhankar. Jagdeep Dhankar, who is the present Vice President of India, he has been officiated as the new Chairman of Rajya Sabha on December 7, 2022 as the winter session of the Parliament commenced. Okay, uh, PM Modi has expressed confidence that the Rajya Sabha will attain a new height under the leadership of new Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar. So this is it. Next question. Who became India's 77th chess grandmaster options are there and your time begins now India's 77th chess grandmaster Parmarjan uh, Negi, Aditya Mittal, Anis Giri or Judith Polgar the correct answer is Aditya Mittal which is option B who is just 16 years old he has become India's 77th chess grandmaster during an uh, ongoing tournament in Spain. He is from Mumbai and he has secured three Grandmaster norms. He has crossed 2500 ELO points marked during the sixth round of ongoing ELO Brigade Open Tournament in Spain. More details on the screen. Aditya Mittal, 77th Chess Grandmaster. Remember it. Next question. Who has been elected as the new President of Table Tennis Federation of India? Options are there and your time begins now. New President of Table Tennis Federation of India. The correct answer to this question is Meghna Alawat. Okay, Meghna Alawat, she has been elected as the new president of Table Tennis Federation of India. Uh, the previous president was Dushyant Chautala. Okay, so the former president Dushyant Chautala. Next question Who topped Forbes 2022 list of world's 100 most powerful women? Options are there, and your time begins now. World's 100 most powerful women who has topped it? as per Forbes 2022 list. The correct answer is the President of European Union who is Ursula von der Leyen. Okay, Ursula von der Leyen. She has topped world's 100 most powerful women. Okay, so this is it. Uh, let's go to the next question. Uh, Kartigai Deepam Chariot Festival is celebrated in which state? Kartigai Deepam Chariot Festival. Options are there and your time begins now. Kolkata, Tamil Nadu, Kerala or Odisha. Kartigai Deepam Chariot Festival. The correct answer to this question is Tamil Nadu. Okay, this festival Kartigai Deepam Chariot Festival is celebrated in uh, Tamil Nadu 
basically it was held at Thiru Parankundram in Madurai, Tamil Nadu after the gap of two years due to COVID-19 pandemic. Recently it was uh, celebrated. So this is it. Let's go to the next question. Das is Indian American who received United States Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award. What is the name of the awardee is the question. He or she is an Indian American who received US Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award. Who is he or she? The correct answer to this question is Krishna Vavila. So recently United States President who is Joe Biden. Can anyone tell that Joe Biden is which number president? Please write in the comment box. This has been asked in many exams. Okay, which number US president? So recently uh, Joe Biden has recognized Indian American and a long time Australian who is Krishna Vavila, uh, Vavilala with the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award uh, which is the nation highest honor for his contribution to his humanity, his, to his community and the country at large. So Krishna Vavilala who is an Indian American uh, person. Let's go to the next question. Which country has been ousted from United Nations Women's Group after the US campaign? Ousted means uh, taken out. Okay. Uh, forced to uh, go out of the community is known as ousted. So this is a new uh, rarely used English term ousted. So options are there. Which country has been forced out of a UN woman group after US campaign? The correct answer is Iran. Okay, Iran. Iran has been ousted from UN woman group after the US campaign. India had voted against removing Iran from the United Nations Economic and Social Council, the main global intergovernmental organization committed to promoting gender equality and women's empowerment. So Iran has been ousted, has been forced out from United Nations Women's Group. Okay, so this is it. Let's go to the next question. Who has sworn in as the new Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh? Very, very important. New Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. Recently, general elections were held in Himachal Pradesh. And the correct answer to this question is Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu is the new chief minister of Himachal Pradesh. He is a Congress leader. Okay, the former CM was Jairam Thakur. So Jairam Thakur has been replaced by Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu as the new chief minister of Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh, whose capital is Simla, and whose governor is Rajendra Arlekar. Okay, so Rajendra Arlekar is the governor Mukesh Agnihotri is the chief minister but more important is uh, sorry Mukesh Agnihotri is the deputy chief minister but more important is who is CM the chief minister is Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu and who is governor he is Rajendra Vishwanath Arlikar okay let's go to the next question which state become the first state to launch its own climate change mission in India options are there and your time begins now Kerala Gujarat Himachal Pradesh or Tamil Nadu first state to launch its own climate change mission in India. The correct answer to this question is Tamil Nadu. Okay, Tamil Nadu, it will be the first state to establish its own climate change mission. It began, uh, began the Green Tamil Nadu mission in September of last year and the Tamil Nadu wetland mission in August of this year. So this is it. Okay, Tamil Nadu is the first state to launch its own climate change mission. Hope it's clear. Let's go to the next question. Which city hosted the celebration of universal health coverage UHCD 2022? Options are there. Your time begins now. Ahmedabad, Varanasi, Bhopal or Bangalore. Celebration of universal health coverage UHCD 2022. The correct answer to this question is Varanasi. Okay, Varanasi uh, city in Uttar Pradesh. It hosted this universal health coverage day 2022 for two days. So this is it. More details on the screen. Next question, Reserve Bank of India has signed a currency swap agreement with which country? Options are there and your time begins now. RBI has signed this currency swap agreement with which country? The correct answer to this question is Maldives. Okay, under SARC currency swap framework, RBI has inked a currency swap agreement with Maldives Monetary Authority, MMA. This arrangement allows the Maldives Monetary Authority to withdraw funds from RBI in various tranches up to the maximum of 200 million US dollars. Okay, so 
currency swap agreement with Maldives. Let's go to the next question. Which player won the women's air pistol gold in 65th National Shooting Championship 2022? Options are there. Your time begins now. Women's air pistol gold in 65th National Shooting Championship. The correct answer is Divya TS. She is a shooter from Karnataka and she has won her first national championship in women's 10 meter air pistol, defeating Uttar Pradesh Sanskriti Bana in a tight gold medal match at MP Academy shooting range in Bhopal. So it was held in Bhopal, this national shooting championship. This was 65th edition. So remember it. Okay. So this is it. Karnataka shooter Divya TS winning gold in women's air pistol gold. Okay. So this is it. Next, which leader has been honored with SIES award on December 11, 2022? Important SIES award. Your time begins now. Nirmala Sitaraman, who is finance minister, Ramnath Govind, former president, Pius Goyal, the commerce and industry minister, and Vinkaya Naidu, who is former vice president. The correct answer to this question is Venkaya Naidu, the former vice president of India, has received the 25th SIES award, which is Chandra uh, Sakarendra, Chandra Sakarendra Saraswati National Eminence Award. Okay, uh, so former president Venkaya Naidu. So this is it. Let's go to the next question. Who has been elected as the first woman president of Indian Olympic Association? Options are there and your time begins now. First woman president of Indian Olympic Association. The correct answer to this question is P.T. Usa. The full form of P.T. is quite long. It's Pila Vallukandi Thekkara Parambela Usa or P.T. Usa. You can just remember P.T. Usa. She was elected as the first woman president of Indian Olympic Association. She is 58 year old and a multiple Asian Games gold medalist and fourth place finisher in 1984 Los Angeles Olympic 400 meter, uh, meter hurdles final. And she was elected unopposed for the top post in the polls. Okay, so she was unopposed, uncontested for the president of Indian Olympic Association, P.T. Usa, first woman president. Next, which company launched world's first commercial moon lander? Interesting question. World's first commercial moon lander. Japan iSpace, European Space Agency, the U.S. National Aeronautics, or Pakistan Space Agency. The correct answer is Japan iSpace. Okay, so Japan has uh, launched a space startup which successfully launched a spacecraft to the moon recently, marking a significant step towards what would be a historic first both for the nation and a private company. Okay, so Japan iSpace has launched world's first commercial moon lander. Next question India's first mass segment flex fuel car is launched by which company? First mass segment flex fuel car options are there your time begins now kia motors maruti suzuki tata motors or hyundai the correct answer to this question is maruti suzuki on december 12 it announced that it will uh, be launching a first mass segment flex fuel car so hope it's clear next question next question very interesting one which cricketer broke the Gales record, Chris Gales record, for being the fastest to score 200 runs in an ODI inning. Options are there and your time begins now. 200 runs, double century in an ODI inning. Who broke Chris Gales record for being the fastest to score? The correct answer to this question is Isan Kishan. So recently a series against Bangladesh uh, was uh, being held and in this series in the third and final ODI match of this series against Bangladesh the young Indian player Isan Kishan set several records what are the several records he became the sixth batter in the history to record a double century in ODI so he 
becomes the sixth batter and fourth from India behind Sachin Tendulkar. He was the first to score 200 and Rohit Sharma. Rohit Sharma has scored 200 runs twice and Virendra Sehwag. So he becomes the fourth and he hit double century in 126 balls. So he uh, record. Uh, he break the records of Chris Gale also. So he become the world's eighth hitter to accomplish this feat. Isan also smashed Chris Gale's record for the quickest ODI inning reaching 200 runs. Now let's see about all the uh, sportsmen, all the batsmen who have secured 200 runs. So first of all, Rohit Sarma, he scored 200 in 2014 against Sri Lanka okay, in Eden Gardens. And again, Rohit Sarma has scored 200 in 2013 against Australia okay in Bangalore in M. Chinnaswamy Stadium and uh, then I think we know Avrindra Sehwag he scored 219 in uh, Hokar Cricket Stadium and at, at Indore uh, it was against West Indies in 2011 and Sachin Tendulkar I think everybody knows that he scored 200 the first batsman to score 200 run okay in the world and he scored 200 against South Africa at Golier and he scored in 2010 okay in 2010 and Rohit Sarma scored uh, 200 run twice we already discussed uh, he scored his second double century against Sri Lanka and then we know Chris Gale Chris Gale has had scored 200 plus and 215 runs and uh, it was against uh, Zimbabwe at Canberra and on it was on 2015 and Martin Guptil he was from New Zealand and he had also scored 200 runs against uh, against West Indies only, uh, Westpac Stadium, Wellington. And then we have Isam Kishan, which is the recent one, just on this month on the 10th of December 2022. And Fakar Zaman, Fakar Zaman, who is from Pakistan, he has also uh, scored 200 plus runs, double century against Zimbabwe at Bulawayo on 2018. So these were all the batsmen who had scored double century. Sachin Tendulkar was the first one and Isan Kishan has now become the latest one to uh, get this uh, double century. Okay, He becomes the eighth uh, batsman to score this uh, runs. Okay, Double century. Why eighth? Here are nine names but why eight? Because Rohit Sharma had scored double century twice. Okay, It's the record of records. So, hope it's clear. Let's go to the next question. In which state did Prime Minister inaugurate the All India Institute of Ayurveda on 11th of December 2022. Your time begins now. All India Institute of Ayurveda. The correct answer is Goa. Okay, he uh, virtually opened the All India Institute of Ayurveda in Goa and National Institute of Unani Medicine in Ghaziabad and National Institute of Homeopathy in Delhi. So all these are important. Okay, all these are important. So All India Institute of Ayurveda in Goa, National Institute of Unani Medicine in Ghaziabad and National Institute of Homeopathy in Delhi. So this is it. Let's go to the next question. Which country passed the tobacco law? Interesting. Uh, tobacco law to ban smoking for the next generation. Options are there. Your time begins now. United States of America, USA, Japan, China or New Zealand. Tobacco law to ban smoking for the next generation. So the correct answer to this question is New Zealand. It's a, a remarkable step. Okay, I think India also needs this kind of law. Too many pan masalas and tobacco are in the market and it's ruining people's health. So uh, New Zealand has uh, banned this, uh, has made passed this tobacco law to ban smoking. Okay, more details on the screen next. Who successfully completed hypersonic, uh, hypersonic vehicle test run which had the speed of Mach 5 which is 5 times or more than the speed of sound. So options are there. Your time begins now. Is it ASRO, NASA, SpaceX or none of the above? Hypersonic vehicle test run. 5 times more than the speed of sound. What is speed of sound? Around 343 meters per second. The correct answer to this question is ISRO that is Indian Space Research Organization successfully conducted a joint hypersonic vehicle trial along the along with the headquarters of uh, integrated defense staffs. So according to country's premier research agency ISRO the joint hypersonic vehicle trial matched the predetermined targets. So more details on the screen you can see let's go to the next question. 
Project Vani Karan initiative is launched by which government? Vani Karan. Options are there. Your time begins now. West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Kerala, or Bihar? Vani Karan. The correct answer to this question is Kerala. Okay, Vani Karan initiative is launched by Kerala government. Next, what is the name of journalist who died in Qatar during FIFA World Cup? Options are there and your time begins now. A renowned journalist recently died. It's an obituary in the Qatar during FIFA World Cup. Who was he? Grant Wohl, Boria Majumdar, Colin Cowherd or Howard Cossel. The correct answer to this question is Grant Wohl. He was a celebrated soccer journalist who died suddenly in the World Cup in Qatar as he had a rupture in blood vessel leading to it his death. Okay, so his name was Grant Bar. Okay, so this is it. Let's go to the next question. The second last one. Which state or union territory in India has been recognized as the first dry uh, dark sky reserve? First dark sky reserve. Which state or UT? Karnataka, Ladakh. New Delhi or Goa? The correct answer to this question is Ladakh. Okay, the government of Union Territory of Ladakh it has designated 1073 square kilometer region in Ladakh's Hanle as India's first dark sky reserve, which will be known as Hanle Dark Sky Reserve. So remember the name as well. Okay, Hanle Dark Sky Reserve. Uh, known as HTSR, okay, Henley Dark Sky Reserve in Ladakh. Hope it's clear. The last question India International Science Festival 2022 will be held in which city? Options are there, and your time begins now. Chennai, Bhopal, Varanasi, Mumbai. The correct answer to this question is Bhopal, okay, Indian International Science Festival will be uh, held in Bhopal, which is in Madhya Pradesh. More details on the screen. So with this, we complete all 30 questions. Now let us proceed towards bonus questions. Please write down how much did you score out of 30. Now we have bonus questions. Uh, before that, we have a few homework questions you need to answer. Uh, who is the host of international conference standing with, uh, with the Ukrainian people? Host of international conference of standing with Ukrainian people. Which country is the host? Options are there. Which edition of India Kazakhstan joint military exercise, which is Kazinth 2022, began in Umroy in Meghalaya recently? Options are there. Which team has been crowned as champion of tennis Premier League 2022? Options are there. Which state UT has proposed to introduce a unique alpha numeric identification number for all families? Options are there. Which country has announced the historic nuclear fission fusion breakthrough? The options are there. And who is elected as the president of Cardiological Society of India? Options are there. And which player has been awarded ICC Men's Player of the Month for November 2022? Options are there. And India signed joint declaration of intent of migration and mobility with which country? Options are there. So these are all the homework questions. Now let's see 17 bonus questions. There are no time for this question, but these questions are equally important as quiz questions and homework questions. So attend to these questions. If you want to answer, then you can pause the screen, answer, and then resume the video. So first question. Oxford Dictionary chooses which word as the word of the year 2022? Options are there. The correct answer to this question is goblin mode okay goblin mode is the oxford uh, dictionary's word of the year which has been selected by an online vote okay what does this mean it means that it's a type of behavior which is unapologetically self-indulgent lazy sloveny or greedy typically in a way that rejects social norm or expectation so goblin mode it's a very unique word so goblin mode is the word of the year for uh, oxford dictionary okay Next, which is India's first payment gateway to support credit card on UPIs? The correct answer to this question is Razor Pay. More details on the screen and PDF. The climate investment opportunities in India's cooling sector. This report was launched by which organization? The correct answer is World Bank. Okay, it was launched by World Bank. Which organization organized an event to launch the toolkit on enabling gender responsive urban mobility? and public spaces in India. It was organized by World Bank. Okay, next. Which state had set up the first Divyang department in India? 
the correct answer to this question is Maharashtra. Maharashtra had set up the first Divyanga department in India. Who won Prime Minister's Prize in Australia? The correct answer is Veena Nair. She has won Prime Minister's Prize in Australia. She is from Melbourne. Okay, Indian American, uh, sorry, Indian Australian uh, Veena Nair who has uh, won Prime Minister's Prize in Australia. Which Navy is hosting the first ever international fleet review between December 6 to 9? The correct answer is Bangladesh Navy. Okay, Bangladesh Navy. It will be hosting this first ever international fleet review. This is it. Next. According to 2022 Hurun Global 500 list, what is India's rank in most valuable companies? It's fifth. Okay, India with 20 of the most valuable companies in the world has moved into the fifth position among the countries that are home to the world's top 500 firms and out of this top 500 20 are in india first g20 finance and central bank deputies fcbd meeting is scheduled to be held in which uh, city the correct answer is bangalore you know that india is the host for g20 summit for the year 2023 and uh, as the norm all the meetings related to g20 like this one which is g20 finance and central bank deputies meeting it will it it, it was held in India, it will be held in India and uh, this will be held in Bangalore. Okay, so this is it. Who successfully launched first ever Arab built lunar spacecraft, which is named as SpaceX Falcon 9? The correct answer is UAE. Okay, United Arab Emirates. Next, okay, this question got repeated. What is the theme of 20th edition of Kathmandu International Mountain Film Festival? the future is sustainable summits okay sustainable summits is the theme of 20th edition of Kathmandu international mountain film festival pm modi has flagged off sixth vande bharat train on which route the correct answer is nagpur bilaspur route and what is consumer price index based retail inflation for november 2022 in india the correct answer is 5.88 okay 5.88 is the cpi and this is the first time in 2022 that cpi has come below six percent okay so it's good as you know that cpi uh, as given by rbi the cpi must range from four to six percent okay four to six percent uh not four to six percent sorry two to six percent like uh four is the optima and plus minus two is the range uh, which cpi should fluctuate and uh, all this in 2022 the cpi was above six percent and now it has come down to 5.88 percent which is below six percent as it is here for the first time in this year inflation fell under the reserve bank of india's tolerance level two to six okay as i was saying two to six is the tolerance level for uh, consumer price in uh, index okay so this measures basically inflation next world health organization has named whom as its chief scientist the correct answer is Dr. Jeremy Farrar is now the chief scientist of World Health Organization. So this is it. Next, who is elected as the president of Cardiological Society of India? The correct answer is Dr. P. C. Rath. Okay, Dr. P. C. Rath is now the president of Cardiological Society of India. The last bonus question. To what basis point did RBI increase the repo rate on 7th December? So repo rate has again been increased and it has been increased to 6.25% by 0.35 basis point okay uh, not 0.35 sorry 35 basis points okay 35 basis point so this is it so the new repo rate is 6.25 percent repo rate is the rate at which rbi lends money to different banks so this is it so with this we complete the bonus questions as well now let's see important dates sark saturday was on 8th of december international day of commemoration and dignity of victims of the crime of genocide and of the prevention of this crime it was on 9th december anti-corruption day it's important 9th december and international human rights day we just discussed this was on 10th december it's very important unicef day is also uh, on 11th december as on 11th december 1946 unicef was formed international mountain day 2022 was also on 11th of december okay so UNICEF, unicef day and international mountains day next Universal Health Coverage Day was on 12th of December. International Day of Neutrality was on 12th of December. And on 14th of December was National Energy Conservation Day. So this was, this was about important days. If I did some, if I did miss any important day, then please write in the comment. Okay. So let's see persons in news. 
scientist K V Sur uh, Suresh Kumar appointed as C M D of Bhavani, which is Bharatiya Navi Kia Vidyut Nigam Limited. K V Saji is the chairman of NABARD. This is very important. Okay, K V Saji is the chairman of NABARD, which is National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. It was established in 1982. Billionaire Gautam Adani and H L Technologies Shiv Nadar. and happiest mind technologies ashok suta are the three indians who have been named in 16th edition of four asia heroes of philanthropy list so gautam adani shiv nadar and ashok suta cardiologist and director shri of shri jaydev institute of cardiovascular scientist c n manjunath uh, writer krishna pa g and social activist s sadakshri has been selected for this award named as Nadoza Award given by Kannada University in Hampi. Uh, Tata Sons Chairman, who is N. Chandrasekhar, has been appointed as the Chair of B20 India, which represents the entire G20 business community. So, who is the Chairman of B20 India? He is N. Chandrasekhar. Nilesh Desai, who is from Madhya Pradesh, has been chosen for the Jamnalal Bazaar for constructive works. Mansukh Bhai Prajapati, who is from Gujarat, was awarded Jamnalal Bazaar Award for. application of science and technology and again there is ananda jamnalal bazar award who is a uh, bazar award sophia saik of odisha uh, for development of welfare of women and children anurag thakur who is union sports minister he inaugurated india's first drone training conference so inaugurated by anurag thakur the federal reserve bank of new york has appointed indian origin susmita sukla as first vice president and chief operating officer finance minister who is nirmala sitaraman Biocon executive chairperson Kiran Majumdar saw and Nayaka founder Falcone Nair as among six Indians who have made into the Forbes annual list of world's 100 most powerful women. Okay, so this is it. Uh, McLaughlin, Levron, and Mondo Duplantis won World Athlete of the Year 2022 award. So this is important. World Athlete of the Year. Eden Hazard has announced retirement. Now this is important. it can come that eden hazard who recently took retirement is related to his sport than he is from football please write that eden hazard is a footballer from which country author mansi gulati has released her book miracles of face yoga books and authors this is also important miracles of face yoga author mansi gulati josh butler and sidra amin named as icc player of the month award this was homework question so this answer got revealed here josh butler and sidra amin Dipankar Datta takes oath as Judge of Supreme Court Justice Dipankar Datta Mopa International Airport Goa named after uh, CM Manohar Parrikar what is Mopa uh, M O for Manohar and P A for Parrikar so Mopa International Airport Goa BJP's Bhupendra Bhai Patel Swanin has Gujarat CM for the second consecutive term so recently Gujarat also had general election and Bhupendra Patel is again the chief minister who is from BJP Prime Minister participated in program commemorating Aurobindo's 150th birth anniversary. I think everybody knows Sri Aurobindo was a philosopher. England's Joe Root joins elite list with 10,000 plus 10 test runs and 50 plus wickets. So Joe Root has got 10,000 plus test runs and 50 plus wickets. This is important. CMD of ONG says Arun Kumar Singh. So this was about persons in news. Okay, there are few more. It's obituary. Okay, Sulochana. Chauhan, who was Padma Shri Award winning veteran, Lavani singer, she passed away. So, Sulochana Chauhan, and U.S. sports journalist Grant Wall, we just saw. Okay, he died during Qatar in FIFA World Cup. Poland's only cosmonaut, General Miroslav Hermeszewski, he also passed away. Okay, so this is it. Now we have places in news. Meghalaya government launched Asia's first drone delivery hub. Maharashtra's Chief Minister Eknath Shinde announced that the state will establish a separate Divyang department. This also we saw. Open Ning Ceremony of International Year of Millets 2023 in Rome. So 2023 is given and dedicated as International Year of Millets, and the opening ceremony was held in Rome. Okay, so this is important. Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare organized two-day convention on theme Universal Health Coverage. This also we saw. Okay, in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh, this USC convention was held. Third Global Ministry of Conference on Antimicrobial Resistance in Oman. Maharashtra CM Eknath okay this is got repeated yeah this is repeated next places in news india's first carbon neutral firm which is uh, was which is inaugurated in kerala okay kerala india's first carbon neutral firm this can be asked 
Kerala CM Pinarayi Vijayan. He inaugurated country's first chartered gateway and business jet terminal at the Kochi International Airport. Tamil Nadu became the first state to launch its own climate change mission. This we saw in the quiz. Jammu and Kashmir awarded first prize in category of Ayushman Bharat Health Account ID Generation. So Jammu and Kashmir is the first winner, first prize category winner of this Ayushman Bharat Health Account ID Generation. Indian Chinese troops clashed along the line of control in the Tawang sector of Arunachal Pradesh. So recently, Indian Chinese troops got another class okay so which is a very unfortunate news so this is it uh, uh, still three places are there uh, Meghalaya health department awarded best practice for tuberculosis cm of uh, sorry chief justice of india who is chief justice of india he is uday omes lalit he has inaugurated the Dig digitization hub in 10 districts of udisa and tamil nadu cm mc stalin he inaugurated a statue of mahakavi subramanyam bhatia so this was about places in india Okay, countries in news are also there. Uh, I think this is it. Japan, Britain and Italy to jointly build 6th generation fighter jets. The US, the treasury with two women signature. Okay, let's leave this one. It's not important. The 39th edition of India, Indonesia coordinate patrol, which is also known as IND Ind Indo Code Pact. This was between Indian Navy and Indonesian Navy conducted from 8th to 19th December. This is important. Okay. And Russia has replaced Iraq as top oil supplier to india in november so the top oil supplier to india is not russia now uh, sorry is not iraq now but it's russia okay so that's why the relation between india and russia is very very important so most of the oil comes from uh, russia only to india so this is it now we have important news so i'll just uh, flip through the slides okay you can just pause and have a look So with this we complete today's session thank you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe to ssc second for pdfs you can whatsapp to this number thank you